Well, Fuad Izadi is a professor in political communications at Tehran University and joins us now live from the Iranian capital. Uh, good to speak to you this evening, uh, Professor uh, Izadi. Just explain for us, if you will, uh, what is at stake here for Iran uh, and for the nation? Well, as you know, we have uh, two elections on the same day, uh, the election for uh, Iran's uh, parliament or the majlis and the election for the assembly of experts. Uh, the country's leader is uh, chosen by the assembly of experts. So uh, since the leader's position in Iran's political system is important, whoever gets in that assembly of experts is important. Uh, what we have is a situation where these people can also dismiss the leader if they decide to. Uh, they also monitor leaders' activities. So they are in charge of making sure that he does what he's supposed to do based on Iran's constitution. Uh, if uh, Dr. Rouhani's supporters um, gain seats in that uh, body, then that will uh, have a significant consequence for Iran's politics. Uh, because that's an important body, a powerful body that uh, can ba basically decide what the leader is going to uh, be uh, if the current leader is not uh, available. Uh, or uh, they can also basically put pressure on country's leader if they don't like uh, what he's doing. They can monitor his activities. The other uh, uh, election is for the majlis, for the parliament. Uh, and that is significant, because uh, if Dr. Rouhani gets a parliament that is in line with its foreign policy goals, with its domestic policy goals, then he's going to have an easier time. He's going to run for re-election in about one and a half years. Uh, he's going to win that uh, election if he has a parliament that is in line with his uh, domestic and international policies. If, on the other hand, he gets a parliament that is in the hand of the opposition, he will have difficulty implementing his promises and his chances of getting re-elected is going to be reduced. And, and Professor Ezadi, uh, quickly if you will, uh, how much will uh, the work that Dr. Rouhani has done uh, lifting the nuclear sanctions recently uh, play into voters' minds and influence this uh, election? Well, uh, you know, he promised when he was running for president that he's going to uh, implement policies that will result in getting the sanctions off the back of the Iranian economy. And what he is claiming now is that he has basically done what he promised people to do. Um, not all sanctions are taken off. Uh, some of them are still there. But he's uh, taking credit for uh, basically doing what was promised by uh, him and other people around him. Um, the fact that there is a nuclear agreement is significant, and people are expecting better economic conditions. So if you um, uh, go on Iranian streets, Tehran streets, for example, the banner that the Dr. Rouhani's supporters have is, says that, take the second step, which means that you, we took the first step, we got Rouhani elected, now we need to take the second step and get the parliament in line with Rouhani's policies. And they're encouraging people to basically go with the current uh, administration. And, and they're asking people to let Rouhani uh, do the things that he promised to do. Uh, well, Professor Izadi, unfortunately, we have to leave it there. But we do thank you very much for joining us.